Hey everybody, Sean Ray here for the Sean Ray Flex Muscle and Fitness Report. I'm here to report a little bit of news. Some of you may have caught it on social media. Uh, bodybuilding superstar legend from way back in the old days, Lance Dreer, uh, had uh, congestive heart failure over the weekend. Found out through social media. He came online, made a post about the fact that he was recovering, doing well. My father actually passed away at 82 years old of uh, congestive heart failure along with pneumonia. Uh, he's considerably older than Lance Dreer, but congestive heart failure is absolutely no joke. Uh, and he's addressing the situation, but he's in very good spirits. He's actually posting on social media. So speedy recovery to Lance Dreer out in Arizona. He's a training extraordinaire guy, big on helping people reach their goals, motivating and inspiring individuals, uh, even in his later years of retirement. But he is addressing the situation, wants everybody to know that he is on the road to recovery. So big shout out for Muscle Fitness and Flex to Lance Dreer. Uh, on another note, I wanted to talk about the Asian sensation, Hida Tadayama Gishi. I mean, what he did over the weekend uh, in, um, at the Europa Games out in Dallas, Texas, uh, was nothing short of spectacular. And I, I say that because here was a guy that was an open class bodybuilder from Japan, who came over to the States. Uh, started training and competing. He, he uh, got under the tutelage of uh, Milo Sarchev, who's a very good friend of his. Got sponsored by Gaspari Nutrition. Worked uh, very closely with 10-time Ms. Olympia, Iris Kyle. And had a very good run in the pro division, in the open category. Dropped down, competed in the 212. Wins the Arnold Classic Championship. And then he's kind of hanging around a little bit. And he's kind of his placings aren't doing as well. And of course, he's trying to set himself up for life after bodybuilding. And of course, now you come to this crossroads. What's important? Is it the bodybuilding or is it the life after? Or is it, there's got to be more to life. And for Hita Tadayama Gishi, he went on and he opened up the Body Cafe and City Gym in Las Vegas, along with Iris Kyle. They're partners on that business and it's thriving out there. If you have a chance, you get to Vegas, Olympia weekend, stop in the Body Cafe. Hita Tadayama Gishi's there on a regular basis. Uh, but he also got involved with going back home to his roots in Japan. And he's, he started with an NPC bodybuilding competition of a year ago. This year, coming up in November, it's now an amateur Olympia. A huge jump from a year ago where he had an NPC and an IFB pro competition um, and brought out Flex Wheeler. He brought out his good buddy, Milo Sarchev. I was there. Um, and Rich Gaspari was there along with Iris Kyle. That was the first year a year ago. Now going into 2019, he also opened up a powerhouse gym in his own country of Japan. Now, mind you, Hidetada lives in Las Vegas, <laughs> commutes to California, trains with Milos, puts on muscle camps over at the Fit Nation gym in Norwalk, uh, runs his body cafe out in Vegas. He's organizing and running a competition over in Japan, and he has a powerhouse gym. I mean, is Hidetada the greatest thing to come out of Japan or what? The guy's doing pretty much everything, takes a year off as his placements was tumbling at the Arnold Classic. I don't believe he made the top five. Took a full year off to organize his life. Comes back and he wins the 212 at the Europa Dallas competition a week ago. Qualifies for the Mr. Olympia Championships. And in the absence of James Flex Lewis, is now serving notice to the first runner-up of a year ago, Derek Lunsford and all the other guys out there, Sean Clarita and everybody. The reason he Tata looks so good is because he brought the conditioning. He didn't come back a bigger body. But he came back very polished, very refined. He's always been known for his posing. He put special emphasis on his presentation, which looked spectacular. But the most important thing at, at his advanced age in here is that he learned that conditioning is what got him on the map. And he went right back to that. And he trained with some high volume workouts, some killer exercises with Iris and Milos. Those are two people you want to have in your camp, especially if you're trying to make a comeback. And a comeback he did. So he'll be headed to Las Vegas, competing in his hometown, um, and obviously he's trying to raise the bar for himself. He realizes he doesn't have to be the biggest guy on the stage. And to be competitive, sometimes you can knock out these bigger guys simply just by showing up in shape. So he made a statement in Dallas, Texas, and I think that cannot be lost on what Hidetata Yamagishi, the Asian sensation, is bringing back to the sport of bodybuilding, the condition factor. And we're going to be looking for Hidetata come September 12th to the 15th as they do the pre-judging at the expo where most fans don't get a chance to see big time bodybuilding, they will be able to see the big time bodybuilding at the expo on a Friday. And then on the main stage, I'm sorry, Friday night, pre-judging Friday, Friday night in the, on the main arena where the Mr. Olympia is held, the new 212 champion will be uh, 
announced as it's been vacated by the seven-time champion, uh, James Lex Lewis. So that could very well be Hidetari Yamagishi. Keep an eye out for Hide as we roll right into the 55th Joe Weider, Mr. Olympia Weekend in Las Vegas. <laughs> 